Carpet deck. Yeah. We're in the basement. Out behind closed doors. Because I got something to show you. So this is really interesting because I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I think what I'm about to show you is a pretty cool idea from an architect who's been dealing in passive houses and sustainability and zero energy homes. I love the fact that people are thinking about how we can improve systems in those houses. Now, the system I'm about to show you is, I think it's a pretty controversial one because anytime I've ever posted on social media, I probably get equal hate with equal love on this topic. And I don't know quite the answer. Now, the manufacturer says they have data. Um, certainly there's people that love it that say it works really well. There's a lot of curmudgeons out there that are absolutely haters of the system. But anyways, without further ado, let's talk about heat recovery on our drain system right thermo drain um, there's a number of them out there we used thermo drain on this project i've done ones in the floor system that are horizontally oriented made out of uh, pvc um, i've done you know there, there's been some other companies out there but thermo drain we've actually installed in a number of houses um, i have yet to actually put some testing equipment and this one we might try to do that um, add some testing equipment to it. But the basic concept is I take a shower. If I take a shower for, I don't know, let's say five minutes, or if you're my son, you take a 20 minute shower. I have no idea what the hell he's thinking. But anyways, somewhere between five and 20 minutes, you take a shower. Well, before I turn that shower on, I pay for some type of energy. I take that energy, I convert it to heated water. The heated water comes out of the shower head, helps me shower in comfort. I'm not chilling, I'm free, I'm or freezing. I'm staying nice and warm inside that. But the issue is the water comes out of the shower head and literally about two or three seconds later, it's going down the drain. And it's going down the drain as hot water. Now, it's done its job in those two to three seconds, but I am now just throwing away that heated hot water, that energy that I just paid to convert. So is there a way to recover that energy? Well, that's where the people at Thermodrain came up with the idea. They say, I could take that master bath water and I can run it in here and notice there is a three inch copper pipe inside this coil. The three inch copper pipe is connected to the drain from the master bath. So the water, that heated water that goes down into the shower drain makes its way over to here. It goes into that copper pipe. It becomes a film of water down the inside of that copper pipe because it just doesn't fall through the center. It actually connects and creates a film. So that means that heated water is now heating up that inner copper pipe. On the outside of that copper pipe, I have this flat copper pipe that coils around it. And it's in direct conduct, or contact. Because it's in direct contact, I get conductivity. If the inside pipe is warm, then the outside pipe gets warm. If the outside pipe has water in it, the water gets warm. So we have our water comes in from the street. It circulates around this pipe. It picks up or recovers the heat from the drain pipe down and it elevates the temperature of the incoming water. Now, this is certainly not meant to replace the work of the water heater. But if you think about it, if this doesn't exist and I bring outside water at 55 degrees and put it into my water heater, now my water heater has to take 55 degree water and make it 110, 120 degrees, whatever the call or the setting is. If I can bring this in at 55, 
and release it at say, I don't know, 60 degrees, 59 degrees, just elevate it five degrees, then when it goes back to my water heater, I don't have 55 degree water, I have 60 degree water that I have to heat. And better yet, the energy that was literally going to go down the drain, I was able to not recover at all, but I was able to recover a substantial amount that I can put to use again, right? So we're piggybacking that system. Anytime we can get one thing to do two, I have the cost of it, right? So if you're wondering, hey, Steve, that's a great idea, but you know, we don't have $3,000 for drain recovery. These aren't $3,000. $3, I want to say, um, go look. They're probably somewhere between six and $800 for these. And then it's probably, I think our plumber charged 350 to install it. So it is probably about a thousand dollar event, more or less, maybe $1,100 to put one of these in. And it's funny because I have some respectable people that I know that have put these in and say, oh my God, it does, it works very well. And then I have some people that respect that say, Steve, you're wasting your time with that. So we're still trying to, I'm still trying to figure out whether it is. If you have direct experience, I would love for you to share that in the comments. Be respectful. I don't want to hear how that's just a dumb effing idea, right? That, that doesn't help the building community. If you have a comment there with legitimate criticism, please put it in. We should all learn, and I'm sure Thermal Drain would love to hear legitimate criticism about their device so they can bring it to the next edition and make it even better for us. So. Anyways, that is the secret behind the door. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did and you're following me, thank you. If you're not following me and you want to, smash that subscribe button. Tell all your friends, go out to the sidewalk and shout out my YouTube channel, please. Right? Get us all out there. Um, we should all be sharing this information. Drop some comments in there. Let me know how I'm doing. Be respectful. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to sharing more. I'm Steve Basic Architect. We're down here in the basement. And that is the thermal drain. Until next time, long live our buildings.